blue bottle oscillating color change reaction. We're going to add five grams of each of these here. Five grams. Okay, now we're going to add five grams of sodium hydroxide solid to each of these. Whoa. gas in a container produces a gluconic acid, I believe. And the gluconic acid reacts with sodium hydroxide to produce some other little crazy name or something. Uh, what's that? Uh, I don't know, something crazy. But then the indicator speeds that second reaction, reaction along. As it's speeding the reaction along, it changes itself. So it's not really a catalyst so much as just a uh, oxygen transfer. It's what it's it gets reduced and it becomes clear colorless in this case and red in this case. Takes very dramatic. This is very intense. Yeah. The one on the right's going. There you go. See, that one's going down. Hey, hey, here we go. The one on the right. Oh, no. It's happening. <laughs> that one changes clear colorless. And the other one. Disturb it. Disturb it. Disturb it. Disturb it now. Okay, so now that this one's clear colorless, we should be able to shake it up. And back to blue it goes. That's repeatable maybe 10 times or so for one day. It goes back to blue because more of that uh, crazy compound, I can't remember what it's called, sodium gluconate gets access to more oxygen gas in the container, reoxidize, and then the indicator will go back to being blue or red or the other one. 